Hello and welcome back to Phoenix Point with the Blood and Titanium DLC. We're going to continue on directly from where we finished in the last video with our manticore heading down to investigate this point of interest in West Africa while our Thunderbird is heading over into uh, Northeast Asia. Uh, we're going to start an area scan up here to see if we've got any more havens uh, around here. And we're also going to hit some of these points of interest including a story one that we have over there this one of course we are going to arrive at first it may or may not be a mission it could just be a haven and we do have a little injury there but that's not too bad so let's go ahead and uh, unpause we will explore see what we may find and we get ourselves an exploration site the towering incompetence our operatives have discovered a highly fortified skyscraper. The site appears to be abandoned. Our findings indicate that this location was fortified by the owners of a hedge fund who intended to outlast the end of days here. Although the structure is beginning to crumble, it would have been a good place to survive the early years of the apocalypse. Let's investigate. The tragedy is something of a puzzle. Despite the availability of tremendous technical resources and enough supplies to last a century, the owners of the structure apparently died from voluntarily drinking unfiltered water. But we gain 400 materials, which is very nice, and 80 food. Okay, so nothing too special there that we need to worry about. Can't see any other points of interest here that I need to investigate. We do have a nest that we need to take out. So we should probably head over there. We're also trying to build up a second squad. So it might be worthwhile trying to get ourselves. So who do we have? Let's have a quick look at personnel because we have picked up somewhat of a second squad. So we have a technician. We have ourselves um, an infiltrator. We got our first infiltrator. Uh, we have a second technician and we have an assault. So we don't have a heavy here. We could do with another assault. We could do with a sniper. Um, who do we want to pick up? Or well, we could also get a priest or a berserker. But I really would like a sniper. Now, there was a new Jericho one somewhere. There's another technician over here. And we've got a point of interest set. Let's actually head up there. We'll pick up this assault, I think. And then we'll go over there and we'll also try and pick up that sniper if we can. That said, we now have a Synedrian Haven under attack. And we're quite friendly with Synedrian. So let's divert and go and see if we can help them out with this one. That will be our mission for today. So it is a daytime mission. It's a medium threat level. We are up against the Pandorans. There's some decent rewards that we can get from doing this, so let's go and start. So we have uh, got a tiny bit of an injury on one person, but that is fine. We actually can self-heal because of the augmentation. Uh, we don't uh, we don't have uh, the ability to do mutations at the moment, but he does have a mutated body part. That's actually uh, this one here, the regeneration torso. So he will actually get some of his health points back each turn. So we'll actually heal during the mission if we don't take any more damage. And everybody else is fine. So let's start. So here we are at our Synedrian Haven defense with our B team. It's one of those maps that has a relatively big complex in the middle, which makes things a little bit tricky. So we can already see we have one Arthron over here. This guy has a machine gun and a grenade launcher. Uh, let's have a quick look, see what he's got. So he's got the uh, normal machine gun. He's got the grenade launcher, the acid grenade launcher. Okay, so we've got to be careful here. The enemy is now using acid. We also have a spitter head on this one. So we've got to be very, very careful what we do here. We do have some future changes planned to these scenario maps. Uh, we're going to be increasing the variety of them, but uh, also we're going to be redesigning the way the glass works in these maps. That'll do two things. Uh, it will reduce some uh, line of sight problems and penetration problems, making the glass behave more like real glass if you want to see through it and shoot through it. Uh, but it will also um, improve performance on these maps as well. So that's something that we do have planned up. So let's go and see if we can start off by using our sniper here. 
rockets in sight. We've actually spotted a second enemy. Where is the second one? Second one is over there. You actually have a line of sight on that one, though, interestingly enough. Let's just have a quick look and see. Well, that's not, I wouldn't call that a line of sight. I'm not going to risk trying to take that shot. Right so here. let's move over and see if we can take out the one that we spotted originally. Yeah, we don't have a great, uh, great chance of getting any hits in there with our sniper. There's a lot of trees and things in the way. We could move over a little bit and see if we can get a better shot from here. We can... Oh, now we've spotted another one. Be right there. Okay, we've got a lot of enemies now. Four already. There's a couple quite close together there. It's a shame that I don't um, have the heavy with the grenade launcher, but we do have the heavy with the rocket launcher. And I think this would be an ideal time to try and use that. We could hit three of them, and, and that is worthwhile. So... Looking at our heavy, we only need a single action point to be able to fire off the rockets. And we want to get closer to these guys. I'm going to risk um, getting up onto the roof here. I'm not going to move all the way forward. I do want to give myself a little bit of cover from that Excellent. direction. But the ability to potentially hit three targets here. We've got two Tritons as well. Right, the Tritons are slightly further over. Let's go and deal with these Arthrons first if we can get this to land where we want it to. Now remember these uh, rockets, they don't always hit exactly where you want them to. There is a slight possibility of a deviation. They're not like grenades. And it went a little bit further than we wanted it to. So I actually only hit one out of the three. That is unfortunate. I am still going to take a shot at one of them with the sniper. The more damage we can do here, the better. Now, they're all pretty um, buried. So let's go and see if we can hit this one. Well, we've disabled an arm. That is not a bad thing. And then we have ourselves some assaults. Now, these guys are very far away. And I don't think I'm going to run all the way over there to try and take them out. So we're going to move forwards with a few people uh, just in the hope that we can deal with them as they get a little bit closer. We do have our priest that might potentially um, be useful. Again, we want to try and stay slightly safe. So let's move forwards a little. We'll be able to take another couple of shots with our heavy on the next turn, providing he survives. So that's fine. I'm going to move you down to here. I'm not going to take you around the corner because I know that those Tritons can kind of see around there. So we'll leave you there. And then finally, we have uh, this assault with a shotgun. So I am going to try and start moving closer. Now, you do have the ability to heal, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's end the turn and see how bad this is. So the Tritons are moving first. They are alerted. And he's taking a shot at and manages to hit our assault from that distance. I'm very upset about that. He didn't do a lot of damage to him, though, so that's fine. Okay, we've got our first Darth one moving in. He's ended his turn on an Overwatch. Now, they are splitting up a little bit. That one's lost his grenade arm. That's good. And he is bleeding out. That one's also lost his grenade arm. And he's bleeding out. So, those two, we don't have to worry about too much. We have an Arthron here deciding what he's going to do. Nothing at the moment. Another Triton moving forwards. And somebody opening a door. Okay, so this is not as bad as I had expected. With these two guys bleeding out, that's going to make life a lot easier. They are on Overwatch, so we do have to be careful there. Executing. I'm going to go and fire this one, hopefully directly at this um, Arthron here. I think we should hit if I aim for him directly. Yep, so we've damaged his machine gun. Uh, we're out of ammo here. We are going to reload. Reloading. And we are going to switch over to our machine gun. We can't actually hit anybody 
with it from here, but that's fine. We will save that. Now then, you took a hit, which I'm a little bit disappointed by. We only have one target with our sniper, which is one of the ones that's already injured, and he's in cover. Which is not good. So let's move forwards a little bit more. We've got a lot of obstacles in front of us which might protect us from being hit. And we can potentially get a hit in there. We did. We destroyed the machine gun. So that's one more that we don't have to worry about. So these three are all bleeding out. They don't have any way to heal. So they're probably going to start trying to back up. They may try and get off the map. But we do have at least two tritons and an arthron to worry about over there. So let's go down here a little. I'm ready. Now, if I move you here, you will actually have line of sight on one of the Arthrons. Very far away, but we did do some damage. It was worth taking that shot. Let's go. Uh, and let's back up a little there as well. Now we could go and move around here with somebody else. I think we will actually. I think we'll move on to this side. And I think you can overwatch this gap just in case anybody comes Come through. Ahead. Heavy's going to stay up there on the roof. Priest needs to move in. Now, do we have the potential to do some mind control? You have a grenade launcher still, don't you? Can we mind control you? It would be excellent if we could. Although we don't have anybody in range. I'd have to get very, very close for that to work. And I don't really want to try that let's move around the corner a little we'll see if we can uh, get a hit over here this is not the greatest um weapon damage even if we do hit there we go we have got some uh, virus infection on that arthron and we've got our shotgun assault here as well who i think we're going to start moving in in this direction now there are some overwatches still on i think but generally, you should be fine. They've, they've lost grenade launchers, so the, the machine guns are still potentially a problem, but I don't think it's going to be that huge. You do have a shotgun, so taking a shot is not really going to pay off. Is there anything more that I want to do with the, the heavy? I think I'm actually going to move the heavy over in this direction a little, just because everybody seems to be coming in this way. So let's get him closer to the action. And let's end the turn and see what happens. So you've lost some will points. You're still bleeding. You are moving around to take a shot at our assault. You did hit him. We get a reaction fire. Didn't do any damage to him, but we did damage his machine gun. He's still bleeding out, though. So not overly concerned about that one. Okay, so you're bleeding out. You do have the grenade launcher still. That worries me. That grenade launcher is very dangerous. If I've got enough men grouped together, I don't think I did. I, th I don't think he uh, had any targets that he thought that was worth using on. Again, you don't have a grenade launcher, so I'm not totally concerned about you. Okay, this is good. These two guys are the biggest problem here, and we now have them Doing it. in a relatively decent position for our heavy to hit. If this lands where we want it to. And it does. Okay, that Arthron is pretty much out of the game here. Uh, this Triton still needs dealing with. So let's move you around to this side. Now, we are taking a reaction fire. But the, uh, the cover helped. So let's move around there. We've spotted another enemy. I'm going. And I think that's fine. So let's take our shot at this Triton. Okay, the Triton is down. Uh, this guy actually still has his head. He could do something to us. We only have a single action point remaining. A quick aim would give us another shot, actually. So let's go ahead and take another shot and see if we can finish him off. There we go. And this is, of course, a will point reduction on everybody else. So we've got an Arthron and a Triton over here. Now, my heavy can't actually see anybody from where he is currently. So, I am going to move him forward. It is risky, but it's something that we've got to do. So, we've got a Triton 
and an Arthron that we confidently know about. Start moving around. Do we want to take a shot at either of these guys? I mean, you do still have a machine gun, so... Anything we can do to reduce your health and get you out of the game is good. We've still got our sniper, of course. Who can... Finish that guy off. Okay. Starting to feel a little bit more confident about this now. So you have taken some damage, but you will start to heal up. And you were damaged when the mission began anyway. So now we have our two assaults. Don't really have any doorways to get in here. Let's move... Oh, there is a doorway there. Can he get inside? Is he going to get inside? I'm not convinced that he is. So let's go ahead and set some overwatches in case he comes around the corner. And we'll do the same with this one. So hopefully if that Arthron pokes his head out, he's going to uh, take some damage. There's a Triton and an Arthron there. So you are panicked. That is good. That means you won't attack and you'll probably bleed out on the next turn anyway. Okay, the... Triton is moving first, but didn't move into the Overwatch cone. I didn't quite make it long enough. Tiny bit of damage. And we gave him a tiny bit in return. Now, he actually uh, walked back into the Overwatch cone there, so we got a good hit on him. Caused a bleed. Now we're taking a shot from the Arthron. Okay, that hurt quite a bit. Taking a second shot. Okay, that I dislike. Right, okay. This guy came close to death. Has hardly any hit points left. So you are going to Focus. heal yourself up. Focus. And we are going to get you out of the way. Okay. Okay. Mr. Heavy, what can you do up here? Preparing to fire. Let's see what we can do about this Arthron. He's going to return fire. Not too much of a problem because we do have a lot of uh, armor on the Heavy. So that was a fairly decent amount of damage. Now then, is our sniper in a position to do anything? And the answer to that question is... On my way. Not really, but we do have quick aim, so we can at least get a shot on the Arthron. And the Arthron is down. That just leaves us with our Triton friend hiding around that corner. Now, I'm not too sure. Who have we got? You're probably too far away to do anything about him. I mean, we could certainly dash... Let's dash a little closer. Use his four of our will points. And then we need two action points to shoot. Or we could throw a grenade. Throwing a grenade might, might be the better idea here. So let's go and throw in a grenade. There we go. A bit more damage to him. Can we move in with anybody else? We could potentially get a shot in from our priest. There he is. Out of the way there. If I move the priest all the way over here, are we close enough for a mind control? No, just slightly out of range. And there isn't a great amount of cover that I can put myself in now. I went a little bit too far. Let's put you around this corner. It's probably the best that we can do. And let's move forwards with our assault. We'll have an overwatch here in case he steps out. And that's all we have. Right, you're going to die out from the bleed. That Triton probably isn't going to do an awful lot now because he's very injured. He's actually trying to damage part of the uh, the haven now. Fracture. 
Okay, now he's pretty much done for. I think he decided it was over and just wanted to do some damage before uh, before he was taken out. So here we go. And hopefully that's the last enemy. No, it isn't. We have at least one enemy remaining on the map. Okay, now we've got to be careful Five then. Five. So I thought I saw this door open earlier. There could be an enemy over here. Let's be prepared for that. Here. Let's go and get our heavy over Next here as well. Okay, haven't spotted anything yet. Start moving forward with the sniper. He's not in a great position back there. I'm ready. A little bit concerned about this guy still. Don't think there's going to be anything inside here, but it's well worth checking. I think we'll just keep you in, in a safe position for now. And let's start moving forward with the priest. Here. Yeah, I think you're fine. We'll just have you like overwatching on that window. Okay, let's end the turn. Which is actually good for us because this assault is now healing. Okay, let's go and see if we can find where that other one is. There we go. We found you. You're actually all the way back there. Where do you think you're going? Oh, we found two. Okay, a lot of enemies on this map then. I'll move around behind this tree. It's a very long shot. But if it alerts them, it'll bring them back towards us. Uh, almost certainly not going to be able to hit them with our heavy from Pretty this distance. Deep. But sometimes the gamble pays off. There we go. It sprays a lot of bullets, so sometimes it, it just works out. Certainly should move forwards with our priest. We've got another assault here as well. Let's move you over behind this tree. Not really much that you can do. Don't think they're going to get close enough for you to really make use of that shotgun. What's our move? I could use this guy, but he's a bit too far away. And we have our sniper also. So I'm just going to sort of start charging forwards with the sniper. Get him into a better position to be useful on a future turn all right are they going to come towards us or are they going to carry on moving around the map they're actually going the long way around annoyingly no you've actually stopped and gone into overwatch you're moving my way though that's good and you have gone into overwatch okay can we do anything with the sniper can we even see you we can if we move here and we'll do a quick aim that means we can still take a shot. Disabled the carapace, gave him a bleed. He's still on Overwatch, though. Moving out. So we'll move forwards with the heavy. We'll take another one of those shots. We might get lucky again. And we do. Excellent. One enemy left on the map. He is on Overwatch, though. Five by five. Now, he's quite far away. So if I run you around this way. Okay, that didn't trigger the overwatch. Good. I'm ready. You're just going to stay on standby. Him, that uh, Arthron may end up flanking all the way around and we may end up actually being able to do something about him. So let's run you this way. Uh, let's take our priest. Can we put you in a good spot? Not really. He's quite far away, though. Let's run you around this corner. Breaks line of sight. Didn't trigger the overwatch. 
What's our move? I'm really tempted with this guy to start moving. I know he's taken some damage, which is why I'm sort of babysitting him, but I'm tempted to go around here and uh, stop that arse one from flanking us. Okay, he's moving closer now. Okay, that hurt quite a bit. We do get a reaction fire, but at this range, it's not going to make any difference. Okay, that was quite nasty. We do recover some health, but we do have a bleed on us, so we will need to use our med kit. There we go. So we're not doing anything from that range. Uh, our sniper. Do you have a line of sight? You would do from here. So let's take the shot if we have it. Unfortunately, we missed. I was hoping I could disable his gun. Take a shot with our heavy. Again, not going to have a great chance to hit, but... I was hoping we could take some of his cover out. We did a little bit. We did some damage to his cover. Uh, we do have a grenade on... We do have a grenade on this assault. So what we're going to do is throw a grenade and we can all, always dash to safety. So let's take our grenade. I know how to do this. Let's throw it over here. And then we can... Oh, we don't have... Uh, we need an action point to dash. So I've left him out in the open. That is fine. We're actually out of ammo there on the shotgun. Right, we only have a single action point left. We could take a shot. We could use quick aim and take a shot, but I don't think that's going to be great. So who do we have remaining? We have you and we have the priest. Can I mind control him? Is he close enough? We can stomp. Can't mind control him. No, stomp's out of range. Do you have a line of sight? No. I'm feeling my, my priest needs a little bit more mobility. Okay, let's get the priest here into cover. What's our move? And yeah, unfortunately, you are still too far away. We can actually go over the rooftop here, which will get us a little bit closer. I'm not going to be able to get a grenade in or anything like that, but let's stop moving around the back. And uh, pray to the RNG gods. What are you going to do? You're actually going to shoot through. Oh, you're actually trying to do some uh, some damage now to the to the haven. That's fine. Again, he knows the jig's up. He knows he knows it's all over. Five by five. Uh, probably can't get close enough with you. Actually, I Dash could. Ahead. If we move over here and we go ahead and use our quick aim. And then that should give us a shot. Did a lot of damage. We should take a reaction fire there. That was nasty. How much damage did we take from that? A little bit too much. Okay, let's go and move in and see what we can do with our assault. Looks like we're going to have to do some recovery after this mission. There we go. The final Arthron is down, and that's that mission over. Little bit tougher than I was expecting, but everybody did survive. Picked up more than a handful of injuries, and we did get a level up. We covered quite a few items as well, which is really nice. So yeah, that's a lot of injuries. We do get a promotion on our sniper. So we can dual class our sniper at this point. And uh, let's go ahead and give this one assault. We've got a couple of uh, sniper heavies. Let's get a sniper. Well, we've got a couple of sniper assaults as well. Uh, but we can go ahead and give you dash, which would be really useful for you. And we can go ahead and give you return fire. I'm also going to go up and put your speed up to 20. And we'll save the rest of the experience points on you. So we've actually got a pandoran lair down here as well this is the first time that we've seen a lair in this campaign so we will need to deal with that 
But beforehand, we are going to go over to Phoenix Point and uh, recover. Uh, as you have arrived here, we're going to do an area scan. Uh, so, we're paused up now. We've arrived here at Phoenix Point. You guys are going to recover. We're going to go back and hit that lair. We'll probably go and hit the nest as well at some point. And then we need to pick off the rest of these points of interest around Europe and Asia. At the same time, we're going to try and build up our third team. And then we'll need to get ourselves a another transport so that we can use that. Overall, I don't think things are going too badly at the moment. We've still got quite a lot to do, but I think we're making good progress. I hope you guys think so too. I hope you are still enjoying this playthrough of Phoenix Point with Blood and Titanium. We look forward to seeing you on the next video. So until then, goodbye for now.